Today, we're talking all things safety when photographing trades. Hi everyone, welcome to our second episode. We hope you enjoyed the first episode and got great value out of it. Today we're talking about safety around the railway. We'll also be talking about how to keep your photographic equipment safe, line side. You ready? Are you ready? Here there we, go. we go. Not only is your safety line side important, so too is your photographic equipment. Now I won't be speaking specifically about your camera safety and the management thereof, such as battery management and where to store it when at home. For that, I highly recommend consulting your camera's manual, which if you do not have, can be accessed on the web. Here, I am going to talk to you about how I approach keeping my equipment safe whilst I am out and about, and some tips for you, how you can too. Safety all starts with good preparation. That is why I'm starting with the camera bag. As you can see, mine has seen better days and I am in the process of getting a new one. But this has done a great job for me. You do not need a camera specific bag if you do not have one, but I would highly recommend it. What I particularly like about having a good camera bag is that it has secure straps, important for when you are navigating challenging terrains, as well as a well padded and protected inside. Interchangeable pads to custom set up your bag accordingly. I have arranged my bag so that it is quick and effective to get my camera, especially for train chasing scenarios. Other things that you should have in your bag is a cloth or towel, even some earbuds. These come in helpful when adverse weather kicks in and it can help to keep the camera dry. I recommend, especially in a South African context, that you carry your bag with you so that you do not walk around with a valuable camera in your hand. It also means that you won't drop your camera if you were to trip and fall. Next is the camera itself and these camera straps. I always like to regularly check that they are intact and still sufficient space at the end of the strap. It has happened to me before where it has worked loose and I have almost dropped the camera. Camera lens cap. Now I'm speaking from experience when I talk about this. Always make sure you have a safe and secure place to put it when you are filming as well as placing it back on securely when you are done. Check, check, check. Let's talk now about PPE, Personal Protective Equipment. When photographing trains and walking around railway lines, the ground is not always even. It's a good idea to wear closed shoes, especially boots which support your ankles. Closed shoes also prevent your feet from getting injured from thorns or sharp stones. The next item I'd like to speak about is wearing long pants. Besides dealing with uneven ground, you may have to sometimes navigate through shrubbery or thistles. Long pants protect your legs. When I was working on a tourist train, occasionally we would stop along the line and allow passengers to disembark the train to get run past photos. One gentleman climbed the board afterwards and his pants was discolored near the ankle. The discoloration was identified as snake venom. Thankfully he was fine and was not bitten. The last piece of PPE I want to talk about is a safety reflector vest. This is so when you exit your vehicle, especially in darker light conditions, other road users can see and avoid hitting you. Most railways around the world require the train driver, engineer, operator to sound the horn when there are people around the tracks. But it is our hope and suggestion that you do not enter the rail reserve. Let's move on to road safety. Here the general rules apply. Be responsible. Don't drink and drive. You need all your wits about you when on the road and around the railway. We certainly would not like anything to happen to you. We know that one can get caught up in the moment and excited to see that train or special locomotive. But you should always obey traffic rules and not place anyone or yourself in unnecessary danger by driving recklessly or speeding. This is where planning with Open Railway Map and Google Maps comes in handy as you can plan in advance all the spots you can get to in time to get great shots and footage. Do not trespass or enter the rail reserve as you can get a great shot well away from the tracks. After all, cameras have the ability to zoom in if need be. Avoid wearing earbuds or headsets as these can severely affect your alertness of what is going on around you. Do not climb on any railway equipment even if it has been standing for a long time. There are countless times we have seen shots from people who have climbed aboard a freight train that has been standing in a siding, either waiting for another train or stabled in the siding. The train can move at any time and you can be thrown off the wagon or worse fall between the wagons. 
Lastly, do not walk on the train tracks. Most modern trains are pretty quiet and you might not hear it coming. This can cause trauma to the train crew, which is unnecessary. Tracks are made for trains, not people. Those are our views on safety around the railway when using photographic equipment. We hope to feature your footage in future videos and hope you follow these tips. Thanks for viewing this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment down below about what safety tips you follow when lying side. The platform's clear. The signals that proceed. You, you may depart. depart.